Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Likes Tea. I'm Ken. Thanks for joining me. Tonight I'm going to be talking more about uh, my favorite fandom blends that are found on Adagio.com. And tonight we're going to be talking about the Nightmare Before Christmas fandom blend made by Bran Midwinter. And this is a delicious vanilla mint tea that happens to be decaf. And you can see the prices there. You've got uh, the sample tins are five dollars. Three ounce pouch is twelve, and the five ounce tin is twenty four. Uh, it's it's really delicious, and there's all sorts of fun sounding ingredients in this one. You've got uh, decaf Ceylon tea, chamomile flowers, and what is that? That's rooibos tea. I didn't know how to pronounce that until I was researching this video today. Uh, one of the advantages of rooibos tea is that when you steep it, two things happen. One, it turns the liquid a reddish color, so it's also known in some parlances as redbush tea. But it also doesn't get bitter if you let it steep for longer periods of time. Some teas will get very bitter if you do that. This, it will get more full-bodied in flavor, but it won't be bitter. So that's probably why I seem to see the inclusion of rooibos in a lot of the blends that I, I look at here on Adagio. Let's stop talking now and go in the kitchen and actually make some tea. I measure out one eighth of a cup of loose leaf tea, which equates to about one quarter ounce by weight. And I put it inside the steeping basket of my Katie cup. I will link to the Katie cup in the description box down below if you'd like to get one for yourself. Then I just drop the steeping basket into the cup, fill it up with boiling water to about the rim of the steeping basket, and then pop the lid on, set the timer for five minutes. Because I like my tea a little bit stronger, your taste may vary, in which case you might want to brew it for less time. Once it's been brewed, then you just pop the lid off, drain, and then stir it up, mix to combine. If you like a little more milk, this is the time to add it. I usually add about two ounces of cashew milk and two Splendas, but you can sweeten to your taste. So what you're left with after all that preparation is a very tasty mug of tea, which I have already finished. <laughs> I brewed the tea and then I sat down and drank it before I actually started making the rest of this video because I am not a patient person and I really like this tea. So this is just a prop right now because there's nothing in it. I'm probably going to brew more though because I can do that because it's decaf. It's fantastic. Anyway, if you are at all interested in obtaining some of this delicious tea for yourself, I will put a link to it in the description box down below. And that's it for this edition. So once again, thank you for joining me. Please be sure to follow me on all my social media sites. I will link to them down below as well. And also check out my other YouTube channel at don'tpunishpain.com where I make educational videos on what it's like to live with certain chronic illnesses. You might find that to be interesting. So that's it for this edition. And again, until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care and enjoy your tea. I'm going to. I'm going to go make more right now. So, excuse me.